Hello, I'm CJ Willerman, and this week we expose the infamous so-called son of a mus as a vicious liar, manipulator, and fraud. But first, please remember to like and subscribe to our show. Now let's get into it. If you were to ask me to identify one individual who has done more to brainwash Western audiences with Zionist propaganda than anybody else, then I would point to this guy, Mosab Yusuf, the author of this book, in which he claims to be the son of a Hamas co-founder while revealing the group's inner workings. His claims and allegations against the Palestinian resistance group has made him Israel's number one propagandist, which is why you now see him featured on every major American and British cable network, from Fox News to CNN, from Piers Morgan to Dr. Phil, and even Dr. Jordan Peterson. If you own a television, then you've seen his face. The Israel lobby has made damn sure of it. Joining us now, Mossab Hassan Youssef. He is the son of a Hamas founding father and later become, became one of Israel's top informants. He went undercover with Hamas from 1997 until 2007 on behalf of Israel's Shin Bet security services. And he now lives in an undisclosed location. Um, Mossab's job is to tell Western audiences everything they want to hear about Hamas, Israel, Palestinians and Islam, making him Zionism's ultimate native informant, a term coined by European colonizers in the Middle East to describe natives who happily betray their people in exchange for money, privilege and status. Mossab has betrayed every single person he has ever got close to, including his own father, having helped Israel track him down in exchange for a bounty. He traded his own father for money and then fled to the United States in 2007, where he converted to Christianity and received political asylum along with a pension from the US federal government. The US-led War on Terror has produced a great number of native informants who have been lavish with book deals and paid interviews for stoking fears and anxieties about Islam and Muslims. I'm talking about Ayan Hirsi Ali, Majid Nawaz and Hamza Yusuf, among many others who lend a veneer of legitimacy to the US government's claims that terrorism is the product of so-called radical Islam. This is the exact role that Mossad performs for Israel, helping justify its violence against Palestinians by claiming Hamas and by extension the entire Palestinian population have a religiously motivated desire to wipe every Jew off the planet. Uh, Hamas is a religious uh, movement, you know, and they are raging a religious movement against Israel. This is what they are doing. The mainstream media cannot say this because they are afraid uh, to ignite a religious war. And mm. what I say, it already is. You know, they want to annihilate the Jewish people because they are Jewish people, because they are Jewish state. This is why they hate Israel. They want to His claim is an easily provable lie because Sheikh Yassin, the central founder and spiritual leader of Hamas, made a clear distinction between his Zionist occupiers and the Jewish people writ large. Mosab is a professional liar. He lies about his biography. He lies to anyone who will listen. And he exaggerates his claims to make himself out to be more important than he ever was. Even his father and brother have long disowned him and have demonstrated how their son and sibling is nothing more than a money-grubbing, opportunistic, quadruple agent. Having been on the payroll of Israel, Hamas, the Palestinian Authority and the US government all at the same time. He is a con artist who will say anything to anyone in exchange for fame and fortune. He has left behind a trail of deceit, doublespeak and contradictions. Even an Arab spy for Israel accused Mossab of duping Western audiences for fame and money, arguing that he has revealed himself to be more double agent than turncoat. A mere 12 months before he published his book, Mossab told a Saudi news agency that Israel is the problem and as an occupation it needs to end. 
and he accused Israel of committing all kinds of crimes against his people, family, himself, and humanity. But in an interview he gave CNN 14 years ago, he basically admitted he was essentially brainwashed into thinking differently about Israel while serving time in an Israeli prison, where he was recruited by Mossad. Tell me again the turning point on whether it was a person that you trusted, somebody who came to you. Who turned you from wanting to be a suicide bomber to working for the Israelis? Um, it's not about trusting somebody. It's, uh, it's about uh, my own experience, uh, figuring out who's my enemy. I grew up in a society that Israel was my enemy, and this is how I was uh, uh, learned. And uh, uh, when I was in prison, I found that uh, th there could be other enemies. Uh, also, there are other enemies in, in the community. So I was confused. Personally, I was confused who was really my enemy. This is where he was turned into a spy, and then later a PR spokesperson for Israel. This is normal operating procedure for the Zionist state. It has been doing this stuff for years. In 2008, an investigation by an Israeli human rights group found that Israel's secret police pressured Palestinians in Gaza to spy on their community in exchange for urgent medical treatment. One Israeli spy told a Palestinian patient, either you make contact with me and agree to my demands, or you will not get any medical treatment which will cause you to go blind, making a burden of you to your family and friends. It's a despicable practice, but then again, Israel is a despicable state. And while there's no doubt Mossad was pressured or bribed into spying for Israel, it's also clear he now relishes his job as a media propagandist, earning huge paychecks and speaking fees along the way. But thankfully, not all Western journalists are falling for his shtick. Some are now openly challenging his lies and vicious hatred, like Abby Martin did in a recent appearance on Piers Morgan. Mossab is the Palestinian who hates Palestinians. He's, he's developed a lucrative career being able to lie about basic facts about this conflict. And so when he says Palestinians or Hamas, what he really means is all Arabs and all Muslims. In fact, um, I've seen that plain as day in his social media and talks. He thinks that all Muslims are terrorists. He is actually credited to jailing the Palestinian Mandela. Marwan Barghouti, this is a guy who he put in prison 20 years ago, who was marching side by side with Israeli peace activists, denouncing Hamas, killing civilians. Marwan Barghouti is the most popular unifying figure in Palestinian society. He would resoundingly win in an election against Hamas. So again, I mean, when we're looking at someone who's worked for an Israeli intelligence, who spouts the same rhetoric as Israelis, who say Hamas, but what they really mean is all Palestinians, I mean, it's really hard to debate someone on the fundamental reality and the principles of, you know, the facts of this conflict. This was a direct hit on Mossab. But to be perfectly honest and consistent, I wish it didn't come from Abby Martin. You see, she was a friend of mine until she used her large platform to launder Assad's propaganda by falsely suggesting the dictator's chemical weapons victims gas themselves to death. I hate Assadists as much as I hate Zionists. And so should you, particularly given Israel's long history of protecting the Assad dynasty, given Palestinians were mass murdered and tortured by the Assad regime. And given the Palestinian resistance stood firmly with the Syrian opposition. That is until Iran cut off its funding for criticizing the Syrian dictator. But don't take my word for it, he is the leader of Hamas. يعني بعدما مارست دعما انتهازيا لحركة المقاومة الفلسطينية حماس حماس والجهاد وكان ذلك الدعم ليس من أجل فلسطين إنما من أجل النفوذ الإيراني والدليل إنه لما وصلت الأمور عند النظام السوري توقف الدعم المالي الإيراني تماما عن حركة حماس شوف أخي مع أننا اختلفنا مع الإخوة في إيران سواء في الأزمة السورية أو في ملفات في الوضع العربي في الخليج وفي العراق وفي غيره with that said, not enough has been done to push back against Mossab's falsehoods. He continues to appear on one cable news TV program after another, while also palling around with leaders of the Western world at the United Nations and elsewhere. He is therefore doing real harm to the Palestinian liberation struggle, and therefore he must be exposed and challenged. So, this is me calling on my journalist colleagues in the Western media. Do your research and you will see that he's a professional liar. 
making him a heinous individual who should never be platformed or amplified. You have a moral and ethical responsibility to report the truth, which means shunning the self-proclaimed son of Hamas. But that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask you please support our effort to expose and confront injustices in the Muslim world by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help and we offer exclusive content and benefits to those who do. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are and stay blessed.